Okay guys and welcome to my very first blocks tutorial and this is kind of an iframe one because I know quite a lot of people including myself that when I first downloaded blocks I was a bit confused on well, how do you embed stuff because the iframe tab when it came out was I was very happy with it like it was one of the best things updates I thought and uh, so yeah I'm just going to teach you guys how to use it so we're just going to insert a random black box and then go over to here and we're going on to uh, miscellaneous I think that's how you pronounce it click on iframe and dump in an iframe, that's pretty straightforward. I think all you guys pretty much know how to do that. We're going to come over and you think iframe URL. And this way it gets a bit confusing because if we come over here and we go into info and settings onto one of my YouTube videos, the actual portfolio template one, that I'm sure if you haven't gone and checked out, be sure to go and check out in the description below. And uh, pause this. Oh, there we go. Um, then we come down on to share and you'll see embed and you'll see all of this iframe width and you'll think oh why don't I just copy all this because that seems the legitimate and easy thing to do in fact that's wrong um, that's not what we want to do because blocks actually adds this frame border height and width for you so you don't actually need that all you need is the stuff in the SRK section here so we're just going to copy this not including the commas as well there you go see what well, I've done that copy that this works on any YouTube video go into the iframe URL paste that in bang keep the uh, width 100% depending on your thing and the height all that, that's the height of it, you can change this. And then you'll notice that you can't actually update it yet in the current version of Block. So what you have to do is go on File, if you've got an Export Project, New Site, I'm going to export it on to my desktop. Go on F3 here, and you'll see the new site right here. And then I'm going to open up the index, and you'll see here. And there is my YouTube video, as you can see, playing well, got my intro and all that in it, and yeah, working well. So this basically works quite well. I'm also going to show you another quick tutorial on how to do it with Google Maps. There you go, just going to Google Maps here, and I'm going to show you how to embed Google Maps into your project. So yeah, let's use this town, Nord Chippenham. Yeah, I think I've pronounced it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go on to here, share our embed map, and here you go. You get a bed map and the same thing in principle you get all this jibber jab here that you don't really need go up to the sark and it's here okay, I didn't work too well let's try copying that again uh, go up to here seriously does it copy it all wait okay that might be a bit of a dodgy example so just gonna get rid of the iframe you out paste it all in then I'm just gonna delete up to the end of the height see I'm getting rid of all of the height and stuff I'm only going up to here, and we're just going to go all the way across up to here. It's going to take a while, if it would take too long. Okay, as he says, and it's taking a while. Um, come on. There you go, and we're almost there. There you go, and we're going to get rid of everything here. As you can see, there you go, that should work fine. We're going to go on file, export product, call it new site as well, I'm just going to over replace the other one, let's go back onto our desktop, here you see a new site again, index HTML, and there you go, our Google Maps has loaded, perfect space, um, not since you c would be able to get this 100% width, but that's not currently possible, but I know it is in the blocks update that just got released, but I haven't had a chance to actually get it yet, um, probably get that in the coming days, so yeah, you can just uh, browse through your maps, see it perfectly uh, interactive and all that jibber jabber, and yeah, so if you want to subscribe, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and like if you enjoyed this little tutorial video on how to use iframes in blocks because I was confused. I know a few of you were, you were confused as well. Um, and like I was seeing like people on Twitter ask the guy and he, he found it hard to explain as well. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video and bye bye.